Being in college comes with many new responsibilities. It is full of freedom and independence, but without knowing how to manage your time, tasks can quickly pile up. Time management is an important aspect of staying on top of your schedule and succeeding in college. Since it could be your first occasion fully in charge of your time, you need to find a method that works for you. Personally, I use Google Calendar to visualize my due dates, events, and anything else that I need to remember that is on my plate. You too can use Google Calendar to successfully manage your time and learn how to do so in this video. This video shows five simple steps to getting started with Google Calendar. The first step is navigating to the calendar. This can be done by clicking the box in the top right hand corner in Gmail. From there, select the calendar and your Google Calendar will open in a new tab. The second step is clicking the plus sign in the top left corner of your calendar to create your first event. You can also create a new event by selecting any time slot throughout your week that's open. Next, you can add all the details for your event. Google Calendar has many options to customize your event that will make it as informative for you as possible. I recommend first adding a name for your event. It should be concise enough to keep your calendar simple and easy to read, but also detailed enough that you wouldn't get events mixed up. In my example, I just used club meeting as my event title. If you are involved in several clubs, it would be smart to add the name of the club to avoid any confusion. If you want to change the event to a task, appointment, focus time, etc., you can do so in the area right under the title. You can also set focus time if you have a big exam coming up and want to delegate time to study. Next, you should add a time that the event is occurring. If this is a one-time event, leave the default does not repeat. If you have this event the same time every week, you can change that setting to make it a recurring event. I like to add the location of my events just so I can visualize all the places I need to be during the day. This would not be necessary if you are adding assignment due dates, but it is helpful to add if you need to be at a certain place for an event. Step four is important to note since it determines when you will be notified of your event. For most events, I set the notification time to 30 minutes before. You should change this based on the event occurring, if you feel as though you are likely to forget it, or if it is an assignment. If you have an assignment due, only getting notified 30 minutes or even an hour before would certainly not be enough time to get it done. Therefore, you can set the reminder to a day before or even create a custom reminder. Once you have added your details, you're done. It is important to make sure you save your event. Step five shows the notification that pops up when an event is saved. Congratulations, you have created your first event. Some helpful tips to remember are that events can be updated or edited at any time in case something does change. You should always add events as they come along so you can stay ahead. Lastly, download the Google Calendar app on your phone to get all notifications and have easy access to all your events. Using a virtual calendar might take some time to get used to, but if you practice it daily, it will become a healthy habit and you will become a master of time management. 